Welcome back to Let's Play No More Heroes. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, last time I defeated Shinobu, but left her alive. She's back there. So I'm just going to go ahead and predict that either in this game or one of the sequels, she is going to show up as another boss fight with a robot hand and uh, even more dangerous moves. Yeah, it sounds about right. Now we need to talk to everyone's favorite UAA contact, who... I'm just gonna go ahead and throw myself under the bus here and admit that for some reason I was absolutely convinced that the opening cutscene introduced her as Crystal Waters. Although going back and checking my own video, I see that the uh, intro was actually calling her Sylvia Crystal. I have no idea how I made this mistake. That's so why I've been calling her Crystal this entire time. It wasn't her last name, it was, uh... I thought it was her first name. Ooh. In fact, I saw a couple of comments, uh... referring to her as Sylvia, and I thought, oh, is that a spoiler of some kind? Is she hiding her identity? And I mentioned that to a friend, and it's just... um... <laughs> yeah. Not my proudest moment, but hey, at least she doesn't know that. Uh, no, no, those guys aren't needed this time. Another victory, Travis. You are now ranked eighth. You gonna kill her? Probably not. She's still young. But I still have to follow the association's rules of conduct. Then let her live. Are we suddenly in love, Travis? Hell no. Then why take the risk of her coming back for revenge? In this business, there's no such thing as mercy. Kill when you can kill. That's bullshit. All I want to do is fight someone better than me. She'll grow up. Why not kill her when she's stronger? Yeah, then I'll kill her. You are sick. So are you. Don't tell me he's actually winning her over. Marvelous! So long, Shinobu. Hello, Travis Touchdown. So now I guess she's number nine, since, you know, the other ones didn't survive. Sucks to be number ten. Punch it! It really is kind of surreal that the first thing that happens after that is that it cuts to him taking a shit. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Whammer! Rank 8, baby! This is Diane from Beefhead Video. Oh, good. Just calling to let you know that one of the videos we turned yesterday wasn't one of ours. It doesn't have a label on it, but it seems to be a recording of a guy... ...humping a pillow. The video you should have returned was, um, How to Please a Woman in Bed 101 Part 2. Please return it to us soon. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Touchdown. Your registration for the 8th UAA rank is now complete. In addition, we have faxed you some information about the rankings in case you wish to continue your ascent. Please transfer the money into the designated account. Have a nice day. As you do. Hmm. The UAA wishes to inform you that the entry fee for the next rank, for your rank, next ranked fight is as follows: rank seven, two hundred and fifty thousand LB dollars. That reminds me. Um. Ah, yes, here it is. Shout out to Vencer's Prodigy, who, uh, 
leaves a comment saying, Clearly, the currency is League Broker Bucks, a cryptocurrency designed for criminal enterprises. Granted, that's most cryptocurrencies, but this one is clearly backed by an actual cartel instead of being a pyramid scheme. That's why everything is so expensive, and it's a terrible exchange rate into dollars, and the less a shop caters to criminals, the worse the rates they offer. <laughs> also, shout out to Gundy's Lackey, who uh, has reached 352 days of commenting on videos. Hot damn. Very impressive. What else do we got here? Clunk279 wonders if being an assassin is just considered a normal job in the No More Heroes universe. Kind of like how in the comic, I killed Adolf Hitler, be being a hitman is considered a totally normal, everyday job. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ah, yes. Mask of the Legendary Wrestler, El Salafaje. Apologies if I butchered that. You know what? I bet that word is what they call a red panda, because that's what those markings look like. Oops. Oh, okay, it's not... D-pad and uh, left stick are not interchangeable here. The Legendary Wrestler, Samurai Gato. Oh, Samurai Cat, sure. I know that word. Mask of Legendary Wrestler, La Mariposa! I don't know what that means. Next, it looks like a Power Ranger. Mask of the Legendary Wrestler, Ultimateness! <laughs> Mask of the Legendary Wrestler, Venganza! That's not bad. Someday I'll eat that pizza. I'll drink that beer. But today is not that day. Today it is sufficient to merely look at it. Let me guess, a bunch of stuff unlocks. Oh shit, I was right! Gold Town is now open. Whatever that means. Beefhead is now open, yes, yes, we did. We did actually go by there in the last uh, set of videos, so uh, maybe we did drop the wrong video off. A new part-time job is available. Great, maybe I'll be massaging old people or lancing boils. No, no, these kinds of jobs are even lower than that. It would be like... Picking up trash, or handing out flyers. Convince 100 NPCs to sign this petition. We'll give you $10,000 reviews. No, you need more than that. For 100 NPCs. Oh, that's one of those things right here. Let me just get off so I can turn the camera. Is this it? Hmm. Ah, right. Everything is uh, not reversed in first. Huh. That's Gold Town, all right. Let's check it out. Actually, wait. I've just realized. They added that stuff to the map. The well, last time I did that. So I can just ask before we, you know, go and... It's a, let's not drive full speed into a cop car, thank you. Uh, let's just go ask so we don't walk blindly in like we did with the other things. What do you think are the holes in the wall? Other than looking cool, I mean. Hi, Gene. Just stopping in. Uh, oh, here's one. 
Beefhead. The Everyman's Video Store. Shelves lined with everything from the latest Japanese anime to bootlegs from Northern Europe. Bishop Shydux, the owner, knows all there is to know about every scrap of celluloid ever filmed. Wow. Sorry about that. Oh, uh... Gold Town, the Little Tokyo of Santa Destroy. The Japanese-style drinking hole, uh, bar plastic model, has top-of-the-line sake. Drink too much and expect big trouble. Well, that's the same of all booze, isn't it? Oh, yes, and when I went to check the uh, opening cutscene, I learned that uh, that bishop guy that it mentioned is uh, the dude who drops off the motorcycle. So I guess they're friends. You referred to him, in fact, as a bishop from the video store. There was a third thing, wasn't there? Huh. Oh, no, it was a new part-time job. That's what it was. Okay, bye, Gene. Take it easy. sure what I'm going to accomplish at a bar that won't just set me back in my mission. Yeah, the really funny thing is you show this open world game to a person from like 2000 and it would blow their fucking mind. Because, you know, at that point it was, uh, we're still a year out from GTA 3, for God's sake. What do you want? Is that man wearing pants or not? Look, man. This is no place for a pussy like you. Go home to mommy. Leave me alone. I wouldn't enjoy this moment. Now, if you had a ball, we might have something <gasps> to talk about. Find the seven Lovikov balls scattered across Santa Destroy and bring them to this drunk. I've got like 13, man. Hey, you've already got a ball, have you? Aha. A ball! In return, let me teach you something. Select the technique you want. What?! Okay, memory of three. Displays the positions of enemies on the mini-map. That seems actually really useful. The memory of demon. Allows a jumping slash to be performed by pressing the B and Y buttons. Assuming those are the right buttons. Memory of Child allows a dash to be performed by pressing the A button. That'd be kind of nice to sprint. Memory of Woman extends dark side mode time limit. I think that's the thing where the lights get dim and I slide off to the side to slash someone in slow motion. Memory of Mask increases the range of your grab. Oh, that'd be pretty good. Memory of Tattoo earn bonuses based on your rank. That seems like something I would want to get sooner rather than later. Memory of White allows a jumping down attack to be performed. You ready for this? May tickle just a smidge. <laughs> Learned the technique of mystery. You got that? The technique is yours and yours alone. Come back and you've collected some balls. Keep practicing. Oh good, he does have pants on. Thanks, random drunk! Jesus Christ, I can't even remember which one I picked. Fine, we'll just keep going. Wait. Oh, okay. So I guess I need to find one more and pay them off in chunks of seven? That does make it more complicated. Ah, especially since I can't turn the camera on the car! I just wanted to look in here, but no. Huh. God damn it, me. I can't punch that. Hmm. 
right, I just hit the button. Jesus Christ. Um. <laughs> what was the other one? And what is that? Oh, that's right, it was the one about bonuses. Oh shit, these are on the map! Yes. Is that because I had six and now I have enough to go get the thing? Or another thing, anyway? I think I'll try for the dash one next. Oh no, it's uh should be right about damn. I don't actually feel the vibrations. What's up with that? You can't hit it anywhere except in the grass. I do not I do not understand. It's right there. <laughs> well, screw you. Weird that I couldn't feel that one. Wait. No, no, no. If I didn't have the accelerator on, I wouldn't be able to see those dots at all. Alright, let's hit Area 51, maybe get a new jacket, see if we got anything new in stock. Okay, you know what, just this once. Right, great, that's a perfectly terrible job. <laughs> that's not what I intended to do, but we're gonna go with it anyway, because it's a video game and no one cares. Come on in, brother. Ooh. Tiger has a tiger printed on the back. Only ten of these, including the zebra jacket, are on sale in Santa Destroy. What? I was thinking of going with this one because, you know, death. Now that I've you know, taken them out, but I haven't actually killed that uh, last assassin, so... See, I like the dark red one better than the light red one. Alright, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and rotate that. Cobalt blue is the color to wear when you want to be cool and stylish. Well, I want to be cool and stylish. Strawberry, the strawberry t-shirt from Japanese anime, pure white lover bizarre jelly. Special bonus with the first print run of DVD Volume 1. Cranberry t-shirt from the same goddamn thing. Special bonus with the first print run of DVD Volume 2. Blueberry. Oh boy. Let me guess, it's Volume 3. Truly, I have gifts. Miami Bass. Blinding t-shirt that uses pastel colors and a provocative print sold mainly to tourists. Riddle. The metallic gold print glitters to the purple background. Simple, yet it makes you feel like a celebrity. I don't know if it's wise to buy a shirt when I keep finding them in the trash, but... The Tengu, a mythical Japanese creature with a red face and long nose. I think there's an emoji of that. 
Wow. Rose in the skull. A bold design placing a rose and skull print over a tie-dye base. The rose is carefully embroidered, making for one gorgeous t-shirt. Okay, fine. You convinced me. Roger that. See you in another way, brother. There is an American flag there. I still wasn't entirely convinced this was meant to be any real country. Destroyer Antiques! What I want to know actually is about that dog food burritos for, what, $39? Fuck me, 39 cents! Grandpa Ferguson's famous dog food burritos! Arf! Still only 39 cents. That's, uh... Now I'm even more worried that they're not actually meant to be so served to dogs. Do dogs even eat bread? You know, like the, 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 the pita. How do I get in there? There's a ball in there. Ah, uh, yes, another example of the tedium. I don't remember feeling like I was being trolled at any yes. point in uh, Shadows of the Damned. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Although I did really appreciate uh, some of the humor in that game. Like the really weird boss who only ever says, fuck you, when he speaks. <laughs> Whoa! Sweet. Didn't even take a look at the other one, goddamn. I just realized. Uh... Well, I see GHM, and that's Grasshopper Manufacturer, so... <gasps> what? It's a rather large amount of money to just throw away. Well, anyway, I'm gonna run back to the bike, and, uh... Call it an episode here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time when we pick up by going to uh, the video store, meeting our good friend uh, Bishop again, more properly this time, and uh, what the hell is that sound? <laughs> Whoa! Well, maybe we'll solve that mystery too. High score, hmm. Later!